So, you need to work with a SQLite database. You could do everything through the command line, but what if I told you there's a better way? We have our SQLite database recipes here and we want to know what's inside. We first need to connect to our database using the SQLite 3 command and then get the list of tables using the tables command. Then to have a look what's inside our tables, we need to follow that up with the schema command. Oof, that's a lot of work. What about now doing a simple query to find the most delicious, easy pasta recipes? Well, first we'll need to start our select statement and then add the column names, then add in our table name, then add in the where clause. Oh, and then order it all by difficulty. And don't forget the semicolon. And once that's done, we end up with all of our data in plain text. We need to copy and paste it into a CSV parser just to look at it properly. This is not a fun way to explore a database. Luckily, the IDE offers us not only a solution to start exploring our database, but a super lazy solution. All we need to do is to open the database tool window in the IDE and then drag and drop our SQLite database into it in order to make that connection. As you can see, the IDE has already pre-populated all of the required fields and will even download the database drivers we need with one click. We just need to go ahead and click OK to finish up. And voila! The IDE has introspected the contents of our entire database and at a glance we can see everything, down to the schemas of individual tables. But wait, there's more. Although this is not a dedicated SQL IDE, you can run native SQL code in a console attached to this database. We can now write that same query that we wrote in the command line, but much more comfortably. You can see that the IDE is really helping us here, giving us suggestions for not only the SQL commands, but also the column names. The IDE also helps us check when we've made mistakes in our SQL queries. It not only helpfully highlights errors in red, but gives us an indication of what we've done wrong. I know you're impressed, but I've actually saved the best for last. Remember the yucky plain text we got when we used the command line? Let's see what happens when we run the same query using the IDE. Now look at this beautiful interactive table. This is a lot nicer to read, and we've now got some new ways of exploring the data, such as sorting columns by clicking the header or transposing the data, which helps with viewing a lot of columns. You can also export the results of queries into a huge range of formats, from your usual CSV flavors to SQL insert statements and even markdown. That's a lot of options. And finally, you can even send this result back to the database as a new table with a few clicks. All we need to do here is select copy to database, select our database as the target schema and give the table the name we'd like to call it. And there we have it a new table with only our most delicious pasta recipes. SQLite databases in half the time with double the fun.